Uh, hello everybody, it is I, Grant Wright, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, we have a bit of money, we're gonna go see if we can get this social club renovated so we can get more money. It's at 11. Mark it on the map. There we go. So after yesterday's fiasco dealing, doing that, um, what, co-op mission where I didn't have high enough lockpick, I think, this is how I'm a little conflicted, um, you know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go around and still do some of these little missions so we can get more money, um, just for a few more upgrades and such. I cannot find this. Um, we're just getting this cockade right now. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some of these still smaller missions, pair of stories, stuff like that. Why did you not get that? Um, so that we can then, uh, get these last of these social thing upgrades and so on and so forth. Um, Pretty much what I, what I think we're going to do is we're going to go on with the story until we get our lock pick all the way open, which I know it's going to be really late because I think it's like nine that we get that all the way open, and then we will uh, do those missions once we get that all the way open and get those collectibles so we don't have to get in and potentially struggle. are good for upgrades. Hey, listen to me. I said I want all the money you've got to my building. Pay up. I see how it is. I Yes, we're going to renovate that. We have plenty of money for that. So the only one we're missing renovating is that one that was like 10000 La guillotine permanente. Uh, when the guillotine was used for the first time on April 25th, 1792, it was poorly received by the public, apparently disappointed by its speed of execution and lack of entertainment. Nonetheless, the instrument was declared the official form of execution. The song, The Permanent Guillotine, tells the story of Dr. Guillotine and how his invention came to be used for executing the guilty. Dude, I, I feel like we had another... There was a graveyard that we had went to. So I'm going to go check this one one more time just to make sure I know exactly how much it's going to cost us. We'll get a few of these collectibles as we go by.
Cockade over here. Oh, that is totally what I wanted you to do. And there's another relic over here. cockade up here. Hi. And there was another copy there. If I get my hands on you, I'll rip your bloody eyes out, I will! Hey, stay there, citizen. is this one. Here, brother. And there's a cockade up here. So we'll get this and then we're going to teleport back. He doit chercher à impressionner une fille. Forty Hagades got a new color scheme unlocked. Very nice. All right, so let's go do this devilish trickery.
Alright, investigate reports of satanic apparitions and put them to an end. There are three such fountains. If you drink the water, the devil comes to you and lures you away with promises. One of the fountains is right there. Careful, citizen. These fountains are dangerous. This is our holy ground. I say a Hail Mary. Come to me. I can give you untold riches. Eternal life can be yours. Everything you desire. Just come to me. Yes. Closer. Closer. Killed the devil, which I did. We got a note. Uh, the drug will induce hallucinations. The victim will arrive and be ambush in a weakened state. Strike immediately. Some criminals we can take out here. We'll do this really quick too because we need these for the rewards that it gives. About halfway to the next one, so that's good. any ugliness so what did that note say I didn't even get to read it Ah! Oh. Ah! 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 Ah!
easy enough. No note on him. Alright. Uh, so we have a Nostradamus Enigma here. We also have a little waxwork. So let's go do this Nostradamus Enigma. Peaceful field, sown with stones, a winged watcher waits, her gentle gaze, graces all souls, follow to the resting place. So that's, I'm guessing there is, uh, yeah, I'm guessing. There is, yes, this um, cemetery up here. And I'm thinking that's where we need to go. out here. Let's just get this while we're going by. We get it now. We don't have to get it later. We were here right near it. here and refill our medicine. Oh, 
So this was the one that I was like, I don't think we had read this. So we have the Cemetery to Saints and Innocents, presumably leading to St. Denis outside the ramparts of the Roman capital, which may occupy the mainly occupied the left bank, uh, served as a uh, city cemetery. Just to say, you're about to read my favorite historical nickname of all time. Louis the Sixth the Fat, who has already overseen the construction of Le Hall, had Saints Innocents built in 1130. Its cemetery would become the Cemetery of All Churches of Paris, um, which made for an unprecedented concentration of dead bodies. A plague epidemic could bring about thousands of deaths in the space of just a few weeks. In the 1400s, improvements were made, partly paid for and designed by Nicholas Flamel, uh, who the whole was overseen by a macabre mural of the Dance of Death just prior to the Revolution. The bodies were disinterred and moved to the catacombs beneath Paris. And there is a cockade up here. Our riddles should also be in here. Peaceful field, her gentle gaze breaks its own fall to the resting place. So this will be what one of these. Pretty sure this is it. So I'm just I'm not seeing anything right now. These riddles are dumb. I'm gonna sort of look it up.
there's a cemetery over here. Oh, it's, it's that one. Like, so I went to the wrong cemetery because there's another cemetery that's not labeled on the map. Okay. Notre Dame Cathedral overlooks her daughter snuggled between Dom and Saint Chapelle. There, the face of the sun watches over his throne. Okay. Well, there's a couple churches there. Okay, so it's like right over here. There it is. Beyond the Dauphine, the blue ribbons diverge, making way for Man of Beast. The assassin's victim struck a shrewd bargain to acquire a city. Treasure lies beneath the mount. Now this one I think I know. If you remember way over here, there was a statue of a guy on a horse. There he is. Oh, il n'y en aura pas 
pour tout le monde. Oui, monsieur, pour quelqu'un qui Je me demande ce qui lui trouble les yeux. Now enough fragments to open a room, on the, a room, the armor room. Interesting. Um, let's go see what this is about. <laughs> Talk to you. Whose side are you on then? What do you want? Who are you fighting for? I don't think I know. Well, I guess they are one. Monetary awards, FF. you can make it. You have to free our agent and get to the exit portal. His original mission was to gather data from the Helix, so try to recover as much of it as possible. Here's some of the data we've been looking for. Good. Our techs will start analyzing the data right away. That data is encrypted. You'll need to stand by it for a moment until I can access it. Okay, decrypting now. Done. All right, I'll need more data to find our operative. There he is. You have to get him out of there. running out of time. Try to recover as much data as possible before you leave. Unstable. The simulation is collapsing. Get out now. Okay. Very good. But there's more assassins to save and more data to find. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, what's back to Helix? Let's just go back to the game. Okay, well that's interesting. We did have a new tutorial that we unlocked. So we'll make sure we get this out of the way. Since we're doing everything. Ce que j'essaye de dire, c'est 
c'est que je suis conscient de ce An excellent showing. Right this way. C'est une même particulièrement hideuse. Get back here, you prat! Oh, you got... Excellent. You've a knack for this. Excellent. You've a knack for this. Not that we don't know how to double assassinate people. Oh, we did open up some more rifts here. Uh, let's go do... We're going to hop over here to the cafe. See if I get in this first door open and uh, collecting all money that we've collected here. profits what do we got money wise we're getting close to get being able to get that last uh, social club which is awesome One down. Hmm. All right. Um, the dun 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 dun. There's a chest right over here. Get it though. Ah, oh, teasing me. Let's so let's see here. Let's let's go do this waxwork story. Assassinate the Sans Colette's leader, Jean Lassard, who is stalking Madame Tussaud. The man who denounced me is furious that I've escaped the guillotine. He sent men to my shop to apprehend me. I dare not return there. Could you please go to my shop and make sure my assistants are safe? And please, please remove that horrid man. Hey, listen to me. I said I want all the money you... Everything all right. Steel. Patience. That old bag will show up. Pals around with the Aristos, then makes their death masks. Somebody's gonna have to make hers. When's she coming back? Come on, speak! She should have been back hours ago. Let us go, we don't know anything. Sure, so you can warn her. Not likely. 
We need to find John Lassad. So he had a letter, but I didn't read it. Come here. Oh, that's not mm. what, you what exactly are you accusing? Malfaisant, à coup sûr. Escape the area. Like that? Easy enough. Alright, let's go get this social club mission. We're still not quite got enough money to go to that last social club. That's going to be our objective for this uh, episode. Well, this is a surprise. Steal the letter that shields a violent gang from the wall. A violent gang is robbing graves in the Isle de la City. A letter from powerful Jean-Paul Marat shields them from arrest. Steal the letter. Also one, we can get this. Le crime ne rapporte qu'une mort précoce. Je ne vois même pas qui c'est. Sleep what area? Sub one up. Uh, we have another mission here. Tall Dark Strangers. Oh, 
it. I'll report you to the cartoon. Not my this is my patriotic duty. <laughs> Oh, you mean two more of those crowd events to get the next award. second powers guide you to her attack oh, I read the tarot for powerful friends and now some believe I influence those friends and they wish me harm I have seen my enemies in a dream come with me and I will sense their presence seems legit Mademoiselle Lenormand, Marie and Adelaide uh, Norman, born May 27 to 1772, and Alcayon received a conventional education from that of the city's Benedictine nuns. Uh, it was there that, to her great surprise, she would discover psychic abilities that would allow her to pursue the practice of divination. With the revolution, she moved to Paris and set up her own fortune-telling enterprise. It is said that this is where she met three key figures of the revolution, namely Marat, Robespierre, and St. Just, for all of whom she predicted a violent death. To be fair, it was a pretty violent time. Lots of people were meeting violent ends. If the psyche had predicted their deaths, it would all take place in a little yellow barge called Colon, uh, or by inadvertently impaling themselves on a series of stale baguettes, then I'd be impressed. Her activity made her suspicious in the eyes of the Committee of Public Safety, whereupon she was sent to prison in 1794, where she met and befriended Josephine uh, Beauharnay. She escaped the guillotine, and during the Directoire of Empire period, she managed to set up a new necromancy establishment in the Faubourg St. Germain, where the elite made haste to hear her predictions. She is also believed to have met Napoleon, but this did not ha stop the emperor from having her arrested in 1803 and again in 1809 for treason. She is uh, believed herself to be nearly immortal and predicted a very long life for herself. Nevertheless, she died in 1843. Alright, let's go. Don't have long to live. What? Citizens, I sense that your husband is having an affair. I beg your pardon. In my dream, one of the murderers was from the country. Yes, a farmer of sorts. Oh, he is dangerous. I feel an evil presence. I am sure of it. That's him. You want me to come over here and crush you, you fellas? <laughs> So I was watching her, and not these guys. Ah. Ah. Alright. Efficiently done. I remember now a soldier out to kill me. Look for 
a man in uniform. A voice is whispering to me. A man in dark intentions is just to the head. Is or not? It is not clear. Possibly south? Just as in my dream. around killing people that she tells us to. She didn't have us kill. Holy moly. And a shady character. Yes, I see him in my mind's eyes. A shyster. A bandit. The vibrations of danger are all about us. Even in this very spot. Oh, cheer, my friend. thousand money for that crowd wow okay doubled our income right there i thank you my friend i sense you have started down a difficult path oh i wish you success okay so let's go get this And then we'll go shopping a little bit. This will give us or spend half our money.
pretty much the same. And let's upgrade it. Pretty good hood. Get this one. early in the game it feels like. Carbon uh, Magnole uh, was one of the most popular songs written of the French Revolution, written in 1792 in the wake of the monarchy's fall on August 10th. The song became known throughout France as one of the many adopted by Parisian Saint Colette. La Carmagnole was traditionally sung while holding hands in a circle. While the chorus, with the chorus, a circle of dancers spun around faster and faster. In Paris, the crowd often danced around the guillotines to celebrate the execution of counter-revolutionaries. The supplement to the dictionary of the Academy defines the expression um, fair dancer a la Carmenole a uh, making someone dance the Carmenole as putting someone to death by guillotine or by any other form of torture used at the time. A number of different versions of la Carmenole exist. They were often adapted to the political, social, and economic context of the events. This explains why the versions of 1792 and 1795 are respectively very different in terms of the words. Yeah. Alright. These are pretty tough for us to do now. Okay, so there's another mission here. We used all our money, so. Oh, 
right, so we now need to get up to 30 of these. Well, I'll keep doing these if it, like, you know, has a chance to give me money, because we got a ton of money from that last one. I foresaw your return. Locate the monastic cult and retrieve part of a twin mechanism that opens Flamel's uh, laboratory. These cards, the cross and the lady, invoke Notre Dame Cathedral. Continuing with the religious theme, monks, and this card... It is clear to me that an order of monks is after mystical power. They hope to find Nicolas Flamel's water of life in his long-lost laboratory somewhere here in Paris. This card, the key, they have found part of the mechanism that will unlock Flamel's door. You must go to Notre Dame and recover that mechanism. Okay. Nicholas Flamel, uh, from Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, born on the bar uh, in uh, Pontois in 1330, Nicholas Flamel later went to Paris to work as a scrivener. Flamel amassed a considerable fortune for himself, arousing persistent rumors as to how he managed to establish um, such wealth so quickly. For many, Flamel, therefore, must have been an alchemist, able to transmute base metals such as lead into gold or silver. In his youth, Flamel had a strange dream in which an angel showed him an extraordinary book. It was in this, a book of Abraham Eliezer, Eliezer, that he would later discover all the secrets of alchemy. Flamel went on a pilgrimage to St. Jacques de Compostelle, where he met a certain maestro Conches, a Jewish Kabbalist who would give him certain keys for interpreting the book, which it is told allow Flamel to use his alchemical methods to acquire his fortune. Flamel is credited with the reconstruction of the church of St. Jacques de la Boucherie, which remains of now which stand as St. Jacques Tower. Though some say that if the Philosopher's Stone made Flamel, Flamel immortal, it is known that he died on March 2nd of 1418. He is buried alongside his wife in the present-day uh, Colney Museum in Paris. So locate the cult members. Off we go. Can I just fast travel there? Yeah, totally. Closing this lock after I unlock it. Well, it doesn't seem that he's moving. bit of metal must be part of the mechanism that Mademoiselle Lenormand was talking about. Okay, so... We had picked up something, but I don't get to see it now because... Ma 
Un divertissement intéressant. Recovered part of the mechanism, as I knew you would. Keep it. It is you who will unlock the secret. Of course I will. So I don't see any more missions in this area. We could go do... Those are threes. I thought one of them was a two. Got a bunch of companion missions. I mean, we have quite a bit that we can do. We still can't open a lot of stuff. Um, all these lock chests and some of these white ones we can't even get either. Um, looks like really what we want to do next is... Go get... It says we have two more chests, but there's a chest there, of course, but I don't see this other chest. Nicholas Flamel's story went, because I think there's another one. It's one of those things that we just need to keep going. Just need to keep knocking out these missions and doing things, and we'll eventually come across it. too indecisive on what I want to do next. We need to just go do and stop worrying about the how. So we're currently making um, 810 a minute. So, memento. We need to get more of the cafe theater missions done to make more money. I wonder if we could do a this three. I 
Damsel and Seamstress. It's a high difficulty mission, it says. So I think we might just end this episode here. And then we'll be back on Friday with more Assassin's Creed. Unless I find time to get another one in tomorrow. And I think we just need to go do more of these missions. See about potentially getting more of these um, collectibles and such. But that's where we're going to end our episode for today. I hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you next time.